Hey friends, it's Risket, and welcome to another Sketch with Risket episode. I decided to make one of these because uh, the current art project that I'm working on is taking a lot longer than I anticipated. Life has been a little bit crazy lately and I've been sort of struggling to find time to fit in sort of making new artwork and videos and stuff. So I figured that I'd just sit down for an hour and sketch whatever popped into my head and hope for the best. The goal of this isn't to make anything particularly special. It's sort of just a way for me to get back into the habit of drawing, which I've been neglecting a little bit lately, and just sort of come up with some new ideas that I might turn into full featured artworks later on. So I've had this idea for a little robot leaning against the rock for some time, and I'm not really sure how I want to draw it. Maybe if I do come back to this idea, I might make him a little bit cuter and the plants a little bit more cartoon-like. But for now, it's good to at least put it down on paper. A few people reached out to me last time and asked me to talk a little bit about the creative process and the tools that I'm using. Um, it's honestly nothing too flashy. I'm using a little red wax-based pencil just to sort of put down initial sketches. And I'm trying to use an overhand grip with this so that my design is sort of a little rougher and it it sort of flows out a lot quicker as I'm doing it. It just helps me lay down a good foundation to start sketching on top of. Then what I usually do from there is either come straight in with a black ink pen or just, you know, a standard HB pencil and start sketching on top of it for a little bit more detail before putting in all of the final detail with the ink pen. The final step that I'll do is come in with a darker pencil and just use that to add a tiny little bit of shading just to sort of help identify certain areas a little more than others and add in like a little bit of occlusion around certain joins and whatnot. So yeah, like that's pretty much as far as I like to go with these sort of sketches. So I'm going to move on to the next design now. I sort of sat back and didn't really talk a lot in my last video and I think a few people complained about that. Um, they wanted to hear me talk a little more. So I, I'm just going to ramble, but if I'm rambling too much, please let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll talk a little less during the next video. I definitely have been experiencing a little bit of a creative block lately. As I said before, work has sort of really picked up a lot. Uh, family life has been a little crazy too. So sometimes when I'm sitting down, I'm kind of just scratching my head of what to do. There's a lot of things I want to practice. Um, you know, I'm still trying to learn a little bit of anatomy and get better at drawing faces and things like that. Um, but uh, I haven't really had time to sort of sit down and, you know, nut a lot of that stuff out. So for now, like I'm just sort of drawing circles and shapes and then slowly turning them into like screaming faces and monsters and stuff. I definitely find this like the easiest way to draw. Like if I have to just sit down and start drawing without thinking about it, this is kind of my go-to. I've been doing it ever since I was a little kid and um, it doesn't always work out the greatest, but a lot of it just is sort of repetition, you know, big circles for eyes, do some big droopy eyelids, either add a nose or cut away a nose like you would a skull. And um, I like to have sort of long gnashing teeth that look like they could snap at any second, like twigs. So um, yeah, that stuff, it just sort of comes naturally to me for some reason. And um, it's really therapeutic in a way. I can definitely sit down and draw like this for a long, 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 long time without really sort of growing tired of it or getting bored of it. There have been times in the past where I like to draw like the bodies of these characters attached with, you know, hands and sort of broken limbs and stuff coming off of them. But sometimes I find like the shapes of these characters 
sort of lend themselves well to adding in additional drawings around them. So like you can see I'm doing here, uh, I kind of like to sort of draw a bunch of faces wrapped around each other or sort of compressing together in a weird way and almost making these totem pole like arrangements of different cartoon characters. They're kind of hideous and I kind of like hideous. I wouldn't mind trying to do something similar in the future but with like cuter drawings, you know, something that's a little bit more appealing to other people. Um, but yeah. Making these videos is um, sometimes a little bit of a challenge too. I actually filmed like a, a whole episode too, like what you're watching now, uh, and didn't realize that I didn't have my camera in focus. And that was a little bit of a disappointment because there was one drawing in there that I particularly liked, but um, I think I try to recreate that at the end of this video. Other than that, like I've definitely become really attached to doing digital art. Um, over the years, you know, using a graphics tablet and something like Photoshop Illustrator or Affinity Designer, um, or even, you know, using the um, iPad Pro and Procreate on there. You get so used to having an undo button um, that when, you, you know, you finally come back and sit down with a pen and paper, it's kind of jarring in a way like, um, you know, every stroke counts and you sort of deal with things in a slightly different workflow. Uh, it's quite refreshing in a way, but it's quite challenging as well. You know, especially when I want to make a video like this, like, you know, I know I say that I don't um, plan on making every drawing perfect, but you know, there's, there's definitely time before sitting down and doing these where I start a sketch and my initial sketch is rubbish. So I just quickly turn the page and start a new one and then hope that everything I draw after there looks half decent. Obviously you don't see it on camera, but there is a absolute truckload of drawings that I start and never finish because, you know, the end result is just crap. You know, even by my standards, it's just um, not worth showing, not worth looking at. And uh, I think I need to break free of that mindset because um, obviously like I want the things that I put online to look good. Um, but maybe, maybe in the future, I'll leave a lot of those things in there because uh, and I think it sort of goes with every artist that's on social media lately. Um, you know, we never really see their mistakes or anything. I think I need to get used to showing some of the bad stuff and some of my faults on camera because it can only sort of encourage other people to make the same mistakes and work through them and uh, hopefully encourage me to get better as well. Things are definitely shaping up to allow me to have more time to spend on this channel sort of later in the year. Um, I'm hoping to spend a lot more time on the music channel as well. I've got like a bunch of synth tutorials that I want to tackle and I'd really like to get that channel monetized as well. And hopefully, um, you know, when all is said and done, I'll actually be able to sit down and smash out the cartoon drawing course that I've been wanting wanting to make for some time you know i started making it a long time ago and i wasn't really happy with the output and i've learned a lot since then as well that i want to include in it so i'm hoping to sort of sit down and start making those videos and post them as i make them on patreon which i launched a little while ago and you know i've got a couple of patreon subscribers but unfortunately i just haven't had time to make much for it and i feel uh, guilty for even setting that up. So I really want to invest a lot more time into doing stuff like this and um, hopefully time will tell, you know, uh, we'll get some sort of more creative output. By the way, if you like the music that you're hearing in the background of this video, I have a second music channel that I share all of those tracks to and you can download the full tracks on my Patreon as well.
I definitely spent a lot of time drawing the heads and sort of faces of this section of the video, and I kind of wish that I didn't. Like, um, you know, I think the end result looks okay, but I wish that I spent more time sort of doing more individual drawings um, because I think we only really wind up with three drawings at the end of this video. Those affinity designer pieces that I sort of post a few of every once in a while, um, they definitely take me quite a long time to complete. And the latest one I'm doing doesn't exactly have um, you know, as much detail or elements as some of my previous ones, but it's been taking me a long time to figure out because uh, like a lot of my previous artworks have just mainly focused on the characters and the creatures that are sort of within them. And in the new one, I'm trying something a little bit different and I'm trying to incorporate more of an environment into it. So it's definitely been challenging. I didn't exactly figure it all out before I started adding in like all of the finer detail. And I think that's sort of part of the problem of why this one's been taking me so long. Um, that and, you know, I've only been able to work on it at my computer and I, uh, I need to buy a new Apple Pencil too, which I think I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and do so I can kind of spend more time with my family and sit on the couch and sort of do things overnight. Either way, I'm hoping to have it out soon. Um, I have been posting progress pictures of it on my Patreon for a little while, uh, but I haven't really progressed much since then. So I'm hoping that the end result turns out rather good. So this final drawing that I'm doing here, unfortunately my camera ran out of battery before I sort of do the shading step right at the end, but you don't really miss all that much. I actually drew this um, when I did the initial shoot of this video, the one that turned out to be out of focus when I went to edit it. Um, so I thought I'd give it a crack and try and redraw it in this part. So it's basically just a bird skull um, in like a hoodie with some feathers sticking out of it. Not really sure like what I could do with this, but I kind of liked the idea of like a cloaked bird skull with sort of feathers leaking out of all of the holes. I definitely like to do more with this little character or creature in the future, but right now it's just an idea for me to come back to. Um, for those wondering as well, uh, yes, I did use a reference for the bird skull, um, mainly just to sort of see where most of the shapes and stuff go. And then I, I kind of like to do that when I'm roughing in things with my red wax pencil. And then I kind of shove it to the side and try and let my creativity and style take over as I'm sort of filling in the rest of the blanks. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the end result of this guy. I think he's a cool idea and I'd really like to expand on him more in the future. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. So I'll leave you with a nice little zoomed out shot of everything that I worked on. And um, definitely stay tuned for more content to come. I've just got to find more time to do it. Hit the like if you like, and if you don't, tell me why. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.